welcome back. The Monstera leaf. I love Monstera leaves. I don't actually have a plant like this at home. So this is a drawing from a drawing from a picture, I guess, that I found online, or it might just have been out of my own imagination. I don't know. But um, I remember when I first drew this in my sketchbook, this was my first exercise in shading, and I had no idea. And I mean, I still don't really know what I'm doing. But let's talk about it. So when we are shading a piece, making sure that we are on the extra layer, we're imagining a source of light coming from one corner, right? So let's say this is the sun, this is where the light is coming from. So these, the top of the leaf would be lighter and the darker side of the leaf, uh, the bottom of the leaf would be darker. So we probably wouldn't put any shade on the top here, but as it goes towards the center of the leaf, the sunlight doesn't come through. So maybe it's an idea to put one layer of lines or one kind of broadly shading in right here. And maybe this line is under uh, this leaf, this part of the leaf is underneath this one, so we can shade it all the way. And now over here, if we imagine the leaf is slightly turned, maybe this part is in a deeper shadow. So we're using lines again, but we're adding a crosshatch to make it appear darker. You can see I'm being very rough about it. And if I were to show this to anybody, I would probably clean up or maybe go a little slower, you know. If I don't like the way how the lines are crossing the design template, I can put the layer underneath it and then the black line is, of the outline is going to swallow up some of those inconsistencies. And this would be an easy way to start thinking about shading. To give the plant a little depth, to give the leaf, a, you know, a little more action. And of course, another way would be, and since we have it on a separate layer, we can just un toggle the visibility, add yet another layer and still work off of our main design. We can add veins to the leaf. Veins usually go up from the middle. We have like the, the main artery in the middle. And then they go out into the specific items, into the specific leaf details. But there is no rule that says you can't absolutely make it your own and add circles or zentangle elements or anything of your choosing. Let's make sure they all go the same direction though. All the botanists are going to correct me and tell me this is not how the veins go in a monstera leaf, but that's okay. 
So this one probably not quite as intricate as the ones for the other days. So if you wanted to leave it with just the veins, then this might be a design or an exercise that you do on a day where you don't have that much time or, you know, add as much detail as you like. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow.